So Jen says, um, how do you deal with email? I feel like I've streamlined the hell out of my list, ruthlessly unsubscribe from everything possible, but it's still an endless hellscape on my computer. Part of the problem is if you, is you get an email, you have to deal with the thing, go into Facebook to find the answer to the thing and come out three hours later. We all know that scenario, right? Um, but also, I don't know. It's the one area of my business I feel like I'm always drowning in. How do you handle it? Uh, well, I love that question because we have talked about this and we have a lot of resources for you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, like point you to a couple of places. So uh, make sure and watch Getting to Inbox Zero in uh, the Productivity Power Pack. Um, we'll link to all this stuff directly. And then I've got this video, the best ways to manage your inbox with a team. First of all, here's the thing. Like when it comes to email, first thing I want to point out is that you can just grab thousands of emails and archive them and you will never see them again. The archive button is my favorite thing in Gmail. So you can just get rid of emails without worrying about it because number one, if you archive them, if you really need to find something, it's still there, okay? But for all other intents and purposes, they're gone. So you don't see them anymore. So that's number one. So you don't have to be afraid. And then the other thing is, if something is really important, it's gonna resurface again, okay? But tactically and day-to-day -day speaking, uh, first of all, with your business email, it's really, I think, important, and I always talk about how I wish that I had done this. I wish this, this had been one of the first things I had done with my team, but actually it was one of the last big tasks I handed over was managing my inbox. So when I go into my inbox, there um, every morning, there might be four or five emails that are sitting there that I need to address because Nika has gone in there and either archived stuff dealt with stuff that needs to be dealt with that she can deal with. And yeah, so, so that's, I mean, that's kind of my answer is like, you should not be, you should not be managing your inbox. Your VA should be managing your inbox, which I know sounds really completely um, scary, but once, once you, you will start to notice that like there, there are some blog posts um, or certain things that come into your email inbox that you that you want to read later okay and we we show you this whole system of how you do it and I'm, I don't want to get into it here but I will I will though real quick just show you give you a glimpse into the inbox so I can just show you what it looks like but what I want you to see is that in the top right hand corner there's this section that says Jen's follow-up okay um, and then there's this section that says awaiting reply, and there's this section that says to read, okay? So Nika hasn't been in there this morning, and I know why, okay? So she's she's been working on something else. And so if I come in here and it looks like this, I just leave, <laughs> okay? I just leave, and then in a, in a couple of hours, it will magically look, look the way it needs to look. But like, I'm going to show you, uh, okay, so there's this cafe press order that I that I did, Nika will come in here and she'll know that that's something that we can just archive, okay? There'll be something else here that, okay, I need to see this because she's she actually sent me this email telling me I need to send these Amazon gift cards, okay? So what she'll do is she'll click on it so that it has like a, um, a yellow star and it will automatically get moved over here to the right. Because this is the stuff, this is really the only stuff I will pay attention to, which is up in the right hand quadrant, okay? Another thing is, I don't know, let's pretend because I can't find a good example, but let's pretend that this Tailwind community is right here, third from the top. Let's pretend that that's an email blog, that that's a blog that I, or an email that I always like to read. And the examples I always give when I do this training is, um, I love the Zapier blog. I love, I love the Daily Stoic and a couple of others. So, so that's just a matter of communication. Nika knows that I love those. I want to read those. So she doesn't archive those. She comes over here and she clicks it three times and it brings up this blue icon. 
Well, what happens now, let me hit reload so you can see, is it just showed up over here in the to read column on the lower right hand corner. Okay. So, so she just, that, that's what happens. She goes through all of here and, and she just archives, forwards it to, you know, marks it as yellow. Awaiting reply is cool because that's when you, when you send an email and the ball is in there at court and it's an important email, then you want to make sure that you follow up with it. That gets the purple. So this person actually, I took care of this this morning, so they're not a follow up anymore. So we've got the exact way for you to organize your Gmail. Like we've got a training, the exact way for you to organize your inbox, just like the way that we do it. Okay. Oh, and the other thing I want to show you that is so cool is this is called simple Gmail notes and it's a free Chrome browser plugin. Do you see this yellow section at the top of my, my, my email? So I might want, so if I want Nika to reply to this email for me, I'll say like, please reply, but let them know uh, Wednesday, Wednesday won't work. Something like that. Okay. Now let's go back to my inbox and see what happens. Okay. Over here in the top right-hand corner, you see that, see how it's got that yellow highlight right there. So Nika, Nika, that will jump out at her. And I love this feature because instead of forwarding into an email to your VA saying, hey, will you say this and, and file this here, do that? No, I could just take care of it right there. And then, and she sees it immediately. I just love, like that saves so much time right there. So um, enjoy the, the email trainings and let me know how it goes for you. And if we have any comments or questions, again, please just um, un unmic yourself and jump into the discussion. Jen, can I ask a question? It's yes. Question. So I love everything about Gmail. I went through everything that you did before in the videos, mm -hmm. but I think it was that when I replied out of there, I can't use my actual business email. And so that's what has me hesitating in actually using Gmail on a daily basis is that when I reply, it's going to be whatever my Gmail email is. Well, is you that... need to have a business Gmail. Can I answer that because no, she doesn't. <laughs> I mean, a business email, a, a business Gmail account is one thing, but there is a way to forward your domain specific emails into your Gmail. So I deal with 12 different emails from Gmail. And, and I have it set that whatever it comes in on, if I reply, it looks like it's coming from that actual email uh, address. And I can pick any of those at any time. Yeah, I can do that too. But I like the ones that show up are all my Gmail addresses. So I always choose the business, Jennifer at jenlaner.com. Right. But you've got the business account. I think Diane's saying she doesn't. I do not. And yet I still have my domain specific ones all coming into my Gmail. So you just they have them redirected. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Will you, can you do a little loom for, for us that I can um, link to this? I mean, is that easy for you to do? Or can, can you point it us? Be to, it won't be today, but yeah, I can do one. Or just point us to a to a training or something. It's under it's under the set Gmail settings, and you choose IMAP or something else. And it's been so long since I set mine up. I'm not. I don't remember exactly the sequence, but you just play with it. I have like my cat Sturts Gmail come into my main Gmail that I don't give to anybody. That because it's got financial stuff. But I have all of my. Um, domain emails and I've got six different domains. So they all come in there. Uh, the only ones I do not forward into my main one are my test dummy emails because they need to be separate for testing purposes. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Kat. Thank you so yeah. much. Did that help? Very much so because everything you've showed me, Jen, around Gmail has been amazing and I've been so sad to not be able to do it. <laughs> so. Thank okay. You. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad this was an easy fix. So thank yes. you to you, Kat. Thanks, everyone. Okay. And Shauna, your hand was up. Yes, thanks. I too love the, the email training. I thought it was awesome. One of the features that I loved was this 
um, thing that you did where you filtered things. So for example, any newsletters that I get that I want to read later, they, instead of going in my inbox, they automatically go to that folder, mm -hmm. but I did something wrong so that it's, they're still in the inbox, but they also have the label of the, the folder they're supposed to go into, but then I have to like undo the inbox thing so it doesn't save me any time and i don't know what i did wrong i've gone through the training twice i can't figure out what i did wrong all right let me catch up with you after this so we can look into okay. that more directly okay thank you thank you and scarlett hi hi so my question is i have all my gmail which is connected to my website you know my website email um forwarded to like my mac are you saying for me to do a lot of these things, I need to go into Gmail itself? Like, should I be doing my mail in Gmail itself as opposed to it coming through on my Mac? And I don't know, I don't know a better way to ask the question. A I lot think of people she prefer versus Apple Mail. I think she means versus Apple Mail because that was a big struggle for me to to stop using Apple Mail and just use the Google browser to do my Gmail. I think that's what I'm asking. Yeah, no, I mean, you do not have to, first of all, Apple Mail has versions of this. You know, maybe I'll take some time if there's enough people that want it to do a tutorial around just trying to find similar hacks with Apple Mail that you can do in Gmail. Because, you know, if you love Apple Mail and that's where you are, then just stay there. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to switch. This is really for, you know, it, because especially in front row CEO, we're so we're so Google tools heavy on everything because everybody has access to them. People in the Philippines have access to them. You have, you know, there's there's all those free options. Not everybody uses an Apple. So we focus, we really focus on those tools. Okay. But you do not have to switch. You don't have to switch, and you definitely don't have to switch in order to collaborate with your VA in an inbox at all. And I'm pretty sure in Microsoft, same thing. They all have the same capabilities. It's just a matter of like, where are they in the settings and how do you set them up? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I don't, I don't, my, my VA doesn't have access to my email. It's just, it's just me, myself and I. Okay. So I, so I only have access to my personal email. Um, that's separate. And my business email, and, and then and we have, you know, we room. have an address for careers at jenlaner.com and we've got help and, you know, we've got other business emails. They all dump in to different places that are business related, but only I see Jennifer at jenlaner. I mean, my jenniferlaner at gmail.com. Okay. You. 